Hi there. So to make the stencil, I started by inserting a square. I used the one with the round edges. I'm going to change the width to four and the height of 4.5. Um, I mainly want these stencils for my burlap banner. So depending on what you want it for, then change the size of the stencil. Pick the font that you like. I'm using Dyson J. It's kind of like a Times New Roman, but a little more thicker. So I'm resizing the letter. Once I like where it's at, I'm going to center it and then click on slice. Now, since the D has that section in the middle, I don't want it to cut off. I'm going to add a long rectangle from the top to the bottom and then putting it as close as I can to the edge of the center part and then select everything again and click on weld. Okay, that way when I cut it in the machine, it's not going to cut the whole middle part. And then when I paint it on the burlap, I'll just paint the little slots on my own. So now I'm going to click on make it and click continue. So for the settings, I'm using chipboard 1.5. So these are the chopping mats that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm using the knife blade on my Cricut Maker. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a brand new mat. And I'm gonna place the scrap of chopping board. This is a piece left over from my other, from the other stencils that I made earlier. And I'm gonna go ahead and tip it down just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, then load it to the mat, click send. So this does take a while, so make sure you plan for this. It took 12 cuts for mine to be done. They are some pieces that won't cut all the way through, but I just use my scissors and it cut really easily. And there you go. You have your own stencils that you can make at home. So hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be making with your stencils.